Guys, this is part two of the virtual DJ video intro, whatever you might want to call this. This is just a bit of basic stuff. If you're doing it, are doing gigs, and you know how to already how to use the virtual DJ software, then this is a bit of hardware information that you can use for mounting your TV to a stand. Now, normally, I would use if I was doing a karaoke. This is what I'd be using right here. This is a 19-inch straightforward TV flat screen TV and then I have a bracket here and as you can see that will fit any pole um, of any size and all you're doing is clamping that onto your pole like so tightening it up and you can move that in most directions pivot it and you've got a nice little 19 inch monitor on say a speaker stand that you're not using or an old lighting stand that you're not using quite simple but for this gig I'm doing next, I require something a little bit bigger, which is another old TV, which is 32 inches. And to do that, I had to mount this bracket, which is a standard TV wall mount bracket. This here takes up to 23 inch to 42 inch TV, so it, it's suitable for the TV. Obviously, you would screw that to a wall, you wouldn't screw it to a stand. Um, but yeah, this is this is just a standard thing. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what I actually did. So there you go, that's the TV. You can, can get bigger ones than that, but it does actually work this. You turn it round, you notice this is a exhaust clamp. Now you can pick them up for a couple of quid, but I just happened to have one in my toolbox, so I used it. And that is just a straightforward bolt, which is bolted through the holes for the the, um, the pins that you put in to hold the, the stand up. So we'll be putting a pin in that in a, bit, in a minute. Downsides here is, it, is the spaces that come with the, uh, the bolts that came in the boxes. There's these little plastic spaces and washers that you can use. That's just to make it more or less level with the pole and again bolts through there uh, and you won't see any of that with the TV on it so you'll be fine and down at the front here what I've done this is a I'll get one here I'll show you this is a velcro tie wrap which is simple and easy to use that's a pink one you can get them different colours I've got loads here I'd be able to get them from a pound shop somewhere like that. So I've, I've used the black ones, obviously. I had to use a couple to get that thing, but as you can see, there's the stand. And this is a piece of lycra that's just covering the stand up. So, right, I will pause the video for a second and come back to you with the TV on the stand. Okay. There we go people, the TV is now on the stand, as you can see, I've left the actual stand on the TV, just, you know, just couldn't be bothered to take it off to be honest. There you go, stirred it, not going to go anywhere that, it does swivel on the stand, but it doesn't swivel on the bracket at the back, the bracket's quite safely mounted there. Obviously I would recommend keeping this off the dance floor because you never know what's going to happen. So what we'll do next is connect it up to the power source, which is here. And you will require, a, I think these are called the VGA leads, which is one of them. Now if you remember previously on the other video, which we'll just show you on the other screen, that one is connected HDMI to the TV, so you're seeing what's on the laptop but you can also hear the sound through the TV on that one this one you cannot hear the sound so what we'll do is switch it on is that one I think yeah that's the sound right is that on I 
don't know. So basically on your laptop you should have one of these and that one's the HDMI, oh that's USB sorry, HDMI there, two USB ports, so you need to be plugging it into that one, which is the VGA monitor lead. And when the TV finally does come on, it needs to switch on in it. Right. right, there we go, it's on. What I'm going to do is just pop. Hey guys, this is the back of the TV. Hey, well, you can't really see it, can you? I'm going to just turn it around a minute. There you see the back of the TV. The brackets straightforward screw to the back. That's a VASA mounting as they're called. You need to screw them up to hold the TV on but that ain't going nowhere. And down here is where the other part of the lead goes. You, you're quite self-explanatory. Is the uh, whole thing. Right the TV is now ready to go. So here we go with your virtual DGA tour of how to use it on the TV. So there we go, that is the screen that you're seeing now on, on the TV. This is um, my desktop background. And there you see the laptop. So the, the screen on the laptop is completely different to the TV. You may need to go into your Windows settings to change that. Uh, so Because you need to extend it for a projector, something like that. But to get that on... You basically go to config at the top, like so. You might not be able to see that. That's a bit better. And then there's an option there for video. So what you do is you go to video. And you see an option for window. And then you should see, but it's not there. Right, just give us a minute, I'll sort this out. Sorry about that, I had to restart it. Because um, I see it was plugged into the HDMI lead before, and now it's plugged into the other one. So it, it just didn't quite work out. Anyway, that's... There you go, you see you've got your drop-down box. Can you see that? There we go. Right, drop-down box there. It says Intel HD Graphics. You click on that. And then you click activate here. So you activate and use hardware acceleration on that. Now that's your video card on your computer, which is already built into a laptop. Click OK. And there you see, you've got the virtual DJ screen. We know it's the virtual DJ screen because the virtual DJ icon is in the corner. Now that will play whatever you're playing through your decks at any point, which involves video so like I said in the previous video if you put your karaoke track on there and there's the um, what we'll do is we'll put one in deck A there you go and one in deck B again so if we press play there you can see the deck is playing on here you can't see on the screen what's going on on your laptop now, but it is playing the video, which is a photo slideshow for an 80th birthday party that I'm doing. So right, say so if you want to play the other one. So this is a karaoke track. And there you go. Use the fader. Up comes the karaoke track, which is on deck B. And you can hear it playing now through the laptop music. It's as simple as that, people. All you need to do is have a play around with it when you've got a few few minutes or a few hours. Yeah, and you, you, you will get there. Obviously, like I said, this is more or less for the beginners. This is enough people who are experienced you know, who know how to use it and use it day in day. I've been using Virtual DJ for years, and it, it took me a while to get the hang of it. 
because uh, I was using CDs and things like that and then we went into the digital age so yeah hope you enjoyed the video anyway uh, if you want to leave some comments below ask a few questions then be my guest uh, like subscribe and don't forget to watch my other videos thank you for watching